Drunk Sussex, Ellen DeGeneres smacks Meg on the cheek with $50 million financing rejected for new Malibu mansion. Recently, WME has used tabloids to report that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and their kids, Archie and Lilibet, could soon be packing up their bags as an ideally located mansion on the market has caught their eye. Currently residing in Montecito, it's been reported by a source that the Express that a coastal property on the outskirts of central Los Angeles might soon be snapped up by the royal pair. With the likes of Hollywood darlings Leonardo DiCaprio and Charlize Theron as locals to the area, who could blame the couple for fancying the move? It's not all about these diamond-dusted neighbors, though, as it's been suggested that the 41-year-old mom of two recent decision to align herself with L.A. agent Ari Emanuel of William Morris Endeavor Talent is another key factor in the family's interest. However, it appears that Meghan and Harry are experiencing some serious financial difficulties since the couple has been dropped by Spotify and snubbed by the Emmy Awards. As a result, the Sussexes are seeking for a millionaire friend to finance them $50 million to purchase a Malibu mansion. It's hardly surprising that Ellen DeGeneres formerly had a $45 million property in this neighborhood. However, Ellen turned down the couple's request when she snapped up yet another lavish property in Montecito, California. The former television host 65 and her other half 50 are now owners of an elegant Spanish hacienda named Pompeii Court, which was originally built in 1919 and which they purchased for $22.5 million. The property, which spans 6,500 square feet, features three bedrooms and five bathrooms. It also boasts lush gardens, a pool, and its own tennis court located at the end of a long private tree-lined driveway. However, no celebrity has the time to take Meghan's weird children out, as her public relations between claim. Moreover, neighbors did not observe the nanny or even Doria caring for the children. So, where had they gone? The children are a big unknown. Many people feel there was some sort of fraud involving the children. The news came as former Suits actress Megan is hoping to revitalize her media profile as not only a producer for entertaining content, but also become a player in philanthropy arena. The source shared Harry and Meghan are reviewing their living options with Malibu being a place of interest. They have secretly visited the area a couple of times and have been out and about. Looking at what's there, it is uncertain if they will sell Montecito or just add a Malibu spot to buy. The move consideration comes as Meghan is shifting gears and focusing back to Hollywood with WME. Being close to Beverly Hills and LA where the deals are done is smart. And of course, there is real Malibu scene where major stars, producers, and studio executives all hang out, socialize, and get deals done during dinner and beach parties. Megan has a friend who lives in the area, and she likes spots like Soho House. Certainly, Prince Harry and Meghan would be welcomed at any major party and would be a desired guest. While those dreams simmer away, it was revealed last month that Meghan was preparing to open an autobiography following the publication of her 38-year-old husband's spare back in January of this year. An insider teased the telegraph, all hell will break loose again. Previously dissecting the Duke of Sussex hit memoir PR reputation and crisis management expert Edward Coram James argued that Harry had broken the cardinal rule of reputation management within its pages. How has these stories been presented? Poorly. It has broken some of the cardinal rule of reputation management he began. Half of the battle with reputation management is to make sure that your actions meet your words. This is all about perception. Ultimately, Harry may well have been sincere when he was saying that he wishes for reconciliation with his family. But by saying this while continuing to throw punches against them, he risks appearing insincere. And if you appear insincere on one major thing, you often reduce your credibility in all things that you say.